Shalom, I'd like to say all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and uh, peace and salutation to the brothers out there around the four corners of the earth <coughs> doing the work, doing the works in truth and in sincerity. Now, today I'm just doing a lesson in regards to a uh, magazine that I saw while I was doing groceries shopping. I actually wanted to buy it, but um, I thought it would be cheap, man. It's like $16, and I'm not spending $16 on no damn magazine. When you could just go on Google and, and like, you could research your information. So, yeah, so I basically saw this. This is the uh, latest uh, National Geographic magazine, Secret Societies. True tales of covert cults and organizations and their leaders, which they go into the whole history of how um, these secret societies came about, so to speak, going um, way back to the ancient times and I guess going back uh, even in the Middle Ages, so on, so called the Dark Ages, and then uh, going until uh, going on to 1776, you know, where. Uh, Illuminati was founded. They also go into Yale, the Skull and Bones. If you brothers, um, yeah, if you want to buy it, man, look for this um, in your like local store, your newsstands in your city and uh, buy it if you're able. I'm not wasting my money on it. You know, I don't have money to burn like that, man. <laughs> I know magazine, but um, yeah. So, uh, they're basically coming on the open, man. And the Heavenly Father, he's going to destroy these these elites, man. You know? Because the Bible, it talks about their secret society. You know, um, the apostles would always bring out the scripture, man, I remember. I believe it's um, the book of Psalms 64. I'm just going to get it. Bear with me. Book of Psalms, 64 and uh, 1. You know, the apostles would always bring this out, uh, especially our uh, elder Gabar, man. You know, it says, um, Psalm 64 and 1. Hear my voice, O Yahweh, in my prayer. Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. Hide me. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, man. You know, and the precept for wet, you know, um, Psalm 64 is uh, to sharpen, man. You know, so they have a lot of great things, uh, you know, what they have. A lot of wicked things planned, you know, to do on the earth, man. Mainly to the children of Israel, you know. Which, uh, if you don't know, which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. You know. And um, basically their plan is to do away with the nation of Israel, man. That's what they ultimately want to do. What the Heavenly Father is going to... He's gonna save us from their hands, man, because their their plan is to uh, they'll have this new world order come to pass, where uh, they reduce the Earth population, which is um, seven plus billion. They want to reduce it, the Earth population, to a a controlled number of five hundred million, and um, have people microchipped. You know, and uh, have us back in slavery. The ones of us who uh, who are survive, who survive. You know, the, the, these plagues that's gonna spread on the earth, the, these wars and all these things, man. The ones of us who's gonna survive. Their plan is to just have us totally enslaved. But um, no, but what's gonna happen? The heavenly Father, he's gonna destroy that man, like how he destroyed the Tower of Babel, like how you nations. You um, like Nimrod, he tried to um, basically align all the nations and have them live as one and be one, you know, like pretty much like how America is a big melting pot. The Heavenly Father wasn't he? Um, the Heavenly Father wasn't with that man, and he confounded the 
the la- he confounded the nation's languages, man, because the whole earth at that time was Hebrew. And he confounded their language, you know, and he's, he, uh, he totally destroyed that shit, man. And, 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 and this whole plan of this whole um, new world order where all you nations are uh, big conglomerate, you know, and then we're the peasants as we are, that's going to come to naught, man. You know, uh, my phone's on airplane mode right now, but uh, let me get my other phone. I want to look at uh, that word wet on blue letter. Because if you go on your phone, if you go on blue letter, your app, or you go on the website, you could go more into like uh, the details of the word. You know? One moment, let's look up that word for Psalm 64 on the blue letter. Psalm 64. One moment. Psalm 64, and this is for verse 3, for the word wet. One moment. On the blue letter, it is um, Shanan, Shanan, to sharpen wet, sharpen, teach, to be pierced, to prick, teach diligently. <laughs> Ooh, prick, man. Esau, he pricks us daily, man, in our daily lives. You know, through this bills, just being in this whole society, man. Everything, through their laws that they pass. Everything, all, all levels, man. We've been pricked for centuries, man. You know, we don't, we, we never got no rest, man. You know, as a people. No, this is, um... Verse 4, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. You know, that's why they have these Bilderberg meetings. You know, these Geneva convention or these conventions, the G20 or G summits or whatever they call it. G summits. G20 summits and all these shits, man. These uh, meetings that they have, you know, every... uh, Every couple of months, they have the UN, United Nations, and all these stuff, where they uh, have all these meetings, and as to how they're gonna control the earth and how they're gonna keep us oppressed, and uh, take our resources and keep us down, how to uh, keep us from finding out who we are. But uh, the thing, you um that you elites, you know you Rothschild, you Bilderbergs, or you uh, you Rockefellers and all you uh, wealthy elite families, all right. You guys, uh, you Duponts and all that shit, the Gettys, all the all those wealthy aristocratic families. You guys paid the uh, tens of billion, hundreds of billions, of, or trillions of dollars, you know, to keep us distracted from um, from knowing who we are as a people. But the thing is, the Heavenly Father, He put the Spirit on men like Abba Bivens, you know back in the days and stuff to um go into the scriptures man you know uh apostle uh aria or high priest aria uh, who uh he uh, went to the breakdown of the tribes and so on the 12 tribes who they are you know whether he got a vision or whatever that like revelation he had but the spirit was on him to go into the tribes and to bring it up the heavenly father uh, he put the spirit on this on this man, you know, to go into the tribes and bring this up. And that's why you have camps all over the world. And we're able to teach and we know who we are, you know. So we have to, so, you know, give our praises to y'all about Shimon Shai for that. Because, you know, if he didn't, um, if he didn't reveal it, all this information to us in this time, man, we'd be completely destroyed. We'd be as Sodom and Gomorrah, man. We'd be totally destroyed, man. So the Heavenly Father, he uh, 
Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Shai, you know, they, uh, they blessed us with this knowledge, man. You know, and this is the secret knowledge, the true secret knowledge, because we're the real enlightened ones. You just uh, think, one moment. It says uh, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect, and suddenly do they shoot at them and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say who will see them. They search out iniquities and they accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought are every one of them. And the both the inward thought are every one of them. And the heart is deep. But God will shoot at them with an arrow and suddenly they shall be wounded. What's that arrow, man? Those nuclear missiles ultimately and with the chariots, man. You know, the chariots of the Heavenly Father, which are um, known as UFOs in this society, you know, which are the occupants of the vehicles. Those vehicles are the angels, man, which are, uh, you know, which they look like us, man, so-called black men, Hispanic and native men. You know, they look like us, the Israelites, man, because there are, there are, there are our bigger brothers, man, who's looking out for us and guiding us every day, man, so... They're gonna come back and uh, bring destruction upon this earth as well, man. While this whole third world war is going on, simultaneously while these nuclear missiles are being shot, you know, the chariots are gonna be doing destruction as well, bringing destruction upon this earth, man. You know, that's prophecy. This is biblical prophecy, man. So it's, this is just, um, so it's, Shall they make their own tongue to fall upon themselves? All that see them shall flee away. All men shall fear and shall declare the work of Yahweh, for they shall consider his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust in him, and all the upright shall glory, which the righteous in heart are the elect who's going to be uh, saved, man, and the one third who's going to be saved from this destruction. And, um, you know, and a portion of our people, two thirds, are going to be destroyed. And they're going to have to be reborn again as babes and come back and learn righteousness because they didn't learn it on this side, nor they didn't, nor they didn't want to practice it, man, or rehearse. So they have to be reborn, you know, and that's what's going to happen. Um, let me get uh, the scripture I was talking about where I'm saying that we were... Were the enlightened ones or the illuminated ones? There's I know a scripture in Baruch, the book of Baruch as well. I haven't brought it out in a while. Let me see, cause I'm not turning this my data on on this right now. One moment. It says Baruch four and. Uh, Start at one. This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh and the law that endure forever. All that keep it shall come to life, but as such as leave it shall die. You know, so if you leave this truth, you leave the, these ways, man, you're, you're just bringing death upon yourself, man. And when you look at um, a lot of guys who fell out, man, even their countenance changed, man. You know, I've seen a couple guys recently who were a part of our camp, man. Um, they look, they like, you know, like they have a darker countenance, man. When you come into the truth and your, um, the spirit of the Heavenly Father is on you, man, you have a bright countenance, man. You know, and people could see that. Like, you know, like we might not see it, but people see that we have a different aura to us, you know. It says, turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light, therefore that thou mayest be illuminated. So the Illuminati, the real enlightened ones, light bearers are the children of Israel, man, and Jacob, the sons of Jacob, which we are. So we're the real enlightened ones. And with that, there's another, there's some other ones, other scriptures where it talks about we're, illum we're illuminated and so on. You could just uh, type it on uh, Google, blue letter, you know, look up certain words, man, and go into it for yourself. You know, but with that, I'd like to say our praises to Yah Bashim Shai, double honors to the apostles of Great Great Millstone. You know, peace and blessing to the brothers out there doing the works in truth and sincerity. 
My name is Connor Walk from GMS Toronto. So with that, I'd like to say Shalom and Kwan Rashallah.